Professor Dave here. Let's talk about William Henry Harrison. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. William Henry Harrison was the third war hero and general to be elected president. He was the last president born as a British subject and was 68 at the time of his inauguration, making him the oldest person to take office until Ronald Reagan in 1981. Harrison died 31 days into his term of complications from pneumonia. His death sparked a brief constitutional crisis, and its resolution left many questions concerning the presidential line of succession until the passage of the 25th Amendment in 1967. He was also the grandfather of Benjamin Harrison, who served as the 23rd president from 1889 to 1893. Harrison gained national fame for leading U.S. forces against American Indians at the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811, where he earned the nickname Tippecanoe. As a general in the War of 1812, his most notable action was the Battle of the Thames, resulting in the death of Indian chief Tecumseh, which caused his Indian coalition to collapse. After the war, he was elected to the House of Representatives, and in 1824, the state legislature elected him to the Senate. He was appointed Minister Plenipotentiary to Colombia in May 1828, where he urged President Simon Bolivar to adopt American-style democracy. Harrison was nominated for the presidency as one of several Whig Party candidates in the election of 1836. He received more votes than any other Whig, but was defeated by Jackson's Vice President Martin Van Buren. But under Van Buren, the nation encountered major economic difficulties following the Panic of 1837. Four years later, a unified Whig party nominated Harrison over party founder Henry Clay and fellow General Winfield Scott. Harrison picked Southerner John Tyler of Virginia as his running mate. Tippy Canoe and Tyler II defeated Van Buren in the 1840 election. Harrison, who in freezing temperatures gave the longest inaugural speech on record, nearly two hours, caught pneumonia and died a month after taking office. He had the shortest term of any president in history and was the first president to die in office. Tyler then assumed all of the powers and duties of the office, setting a major presidential precedent. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.